This little white blob is a rock. It might not look like a rock, but it's a rock. I think it's quartz or something like that. And it might look like just an ordinary piece of rock, but it actually isn't. It's, it's invaluable. And now you can see me carrying um, a bigger rock, which is completely worthless. To make sense of any of this, uh, we need to go back to July 17th, 2022. Well, let me take a photo of you, so there's some sort of a cheer. Uh, uh, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Nervous <Yeah>. laughter. <laughs> it, was, it was a video. It was a video. <laughs> So to get to where we were going, we had to take a bus, and then we had to take this ferry across a lake to get to the starting point of the of the hike. This is where we were. Sarek National Park. Also called the last wilderness of Europe. But to understand the remoteness of this location, uh, we, need to, we need to zoom out a bit. This is one of the points that we call Pole of Inaccessibility. These are some of the most unreachable points on the planet. And this particular point, also called Point Nemo, is over 2,600 kilometers from any land. Similarly, some people have measured points of inaccessibility. For instance, you can measure the point of inaccessibility of Europe, or you can measure the point of in inaccessibility of the Atlantic Ocean. And someone has also measured the inaccessibility point of Sweden, which just happens to be right about here. And this point is about 47 kilometers from any roads or civilization. And that's, that's where we were. Try and swim this. I can do that. Anything for content. Anything. Anything. That is the strongest stream or rapid I've ever seen. And it's damn loud. First proper river crossing. If you've never done river crossings, um, it's surprisingly hard to walk across a, a stream like this. Even though it doesn't look like much, it's it's it feels like you're falling all the time, and the the stream is just taking your feet with it. So difficult. It's supposed to say sponsor, but I ran out of paper. So it's time to thank today's sponsor, or uh, Bombas. Bombas is on a mission to help those experiencing homelessness. This is how they do it. You buy one sock or uh, some other item from the store, and they donate one item to people in need. For instance, if you buy a pair of socks, they donate a pair to those in need. They've got socks, t-shirts, and underwear and a few extras. And for all you sporty people in the audience, they also have an athletic line. For instance, I got myself ankle socks for running, which have reinforced construction in heels and toes for durability, mesh ventilation for breathability, and they are left and right fit socks, resulting in a better fit. And the quality has been superior to some of the other socks I possess. These might just be the funkiest socks in the market, on, on the market. Also, if you sign up for their email list, 
you'll get 20% off your first order. So next time, if you want to do some good while you buy your next batch of uh, socks or clothes, check out the link in the description and buy some mambas. Look at that thing. What the hell? Unreal. Remoteness isn't the only unique thing about Sarak. It's also a very mountainous area. And we had come up with this idea to climb up one of the mountains. Today's agenda, we're gonna do a summit trip. We're gonna go behind this thing and uh, summit one of these peaks. It's 1,840 meters, Svartaspetsen. It's gonna be my first summit trip ever. So we started from an elevation of like 800 meters. So in total, it was about a thousand meters of elevation. An easy hike. Easy hike. The start has been mainly loose rock like that. It's always tougher to ascend than you originally think. You just look at a mountain like, yeah, I can, I can climb that. And then you do one fifth of the mountain, you're like, ah, oh, fuck, I'm done. First problem was navigation, or my lack of navigational skills. There were multiple peaks around us, and most of the peaks were covered in clouds. So I wasn't actually sure uh, which peak we were supposed to climb. Visibility is pretty much uh, zero. There she is. Climbing up a mountain. <coughs> this is the spot. So we were walking up this ridge right here towards the summit. And the higher we got, the worse the visibility got. Which made us a bit worried because on this side of the ridge, there's a near vertical cliff. So we were scared that we would just step into thin air if we wandered too much to the left here, which added to the intensity. Can't say much, <laughs> but uh. So it is. They said it should be spectacular views. <laughs> spectacular views. <laughs> what is it? It's a strawberry oh. jam. The best man can get. <laughs> This rock is from right about there. It's from the very first mountain I ever climbed. That is what makes this little rock so invaluable. And it would have felt like a waste to just take a tiny piece of, of uh, that rock. 
and turn it into a necklace. So I, I made six necklaces. Because now I can send the remaining necklaces to all my friends who also summited the same mountain that day. That way the memory is quite literally set in stone. And I think that's very cool. For the lack of better words. Due to my lack of vocabulary. Just to, you know, a gentle reminder that you get 20% off of your first order if you if you uh, if you sign up for their email list. So now would be a good time to click the link in the description and uh, order some bumps, order a pair, donate a pair. You know how it goes at this point, right? <laughs>